automated bank rec. I said right at the beginning, uh, this is one of my favorite areas. Um, uh, and it's something that over the years, speaking to hundreds of users of systems, that it's an area that takes finance teams commonly a huge amount of time. Um, and what's really exciting about the solution with uh, iPlicit is that you're able to automatically download your bank or even your credit card statements. And the software using some machine learning will basically um, automatically suggest and match the transactions between your cash book and, and your ledger. Um, we typically find that this process helps save up to 80% of the time with, with, than users previously were doing uh, their bank recs. And uh, the other great feature is you can quickly add missing transactions with what we've got a feature called auto templates. Okay, so let's have a look at that. So I'm gonna go back into iPlicit. And from here, I'm gonna go to bank and I'm gonna go to uh, my bank reconciliation. Uh, now I've got a statement that I've already imported in, like so. And uh, if I open up this bank reconciliation, what you basically are seeing is on the left hand side is the import from your bank statement. And on the right is my ledger balance, the, the information that the software thinks based upon the transactions that have been added. But what you're gonna see, I'm just gonna to go to the summary tab to start off with. What you have is your closing balance from the previous reconciliation. So you then got the balance, you've got the what's reconciled so far, I've done some already, and then what the closing balance is likely to be. So you can see, you can match these off and see where you are. And then what I've got is if I go into this unmatched area, you'll notice there's a number of items that have got light bulbs beside them. So let's just click on one of these. Uh, let's click on this one here. So what you've got is it thinks that this item is a match. So let's see why that is. Well, interestingly, the date, this one's the 25th, but this one's the 23rd, but it is got the same company name in it and the value is the same as well. So what this all stems from is that the software enables you to create rules uh, and it will also suggest rules. So this is a suggested rule. Um, and what, what you can then do is it would say, I would build a rule that would say that the amounts within, and you can decide here, five pence, two pence, one pence, the bank dates within a couple of days, the description contains this, blah, 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 blah. And so it will basically enable you to create these rules. So just to, if I pick a different one here for a moment, uh, like so, as you click through, these are the different rules that it thinks that it could create. And even if I was to select the Aberdeer one here, like so, um, you know, it shows me that not only would it match if I created this rule, it would also match the following items as well. So a bit like in Outlook, if have you ever set a rule in, in Outlook, Outlook with your inbox, you'd say, oh, if I get this email from this person with this reference, put it into this folder. This is kind of doing the same thing. It's saying it will create a rule. And then every time you go in to do your bank reconciliation, what you're then able to do is that you can then say run my match rules and it will then automatically um, do all of those matches for you. So it will run through and then just leave you with a set of exceptions of those items um, that haven't been matched and then you can go through. So one would be, for example, here like a bank charge. So I'm just going to say, yeah, I need to do a quick cash book transaction for that. It will search through my library of auto journals, or auto templates, sorry, that I've created. I've got one that it matches that it thinks is the right one, which is called bank charges. If I select that, it will allow me to quickly create a quick cash book transaction. Um, and it will take the amount automatically from the statement. I can put in some additional information if I require, cost centers departments, for example, and all is done. So that's how easy that is to do as well. So once that's done, you can then obviously run your report. For example, you might want to run your reconciliation report, or whatever it might be, but as easy as that. The other things you can do is that you might have a scanned copy of the bank statement. I have already, I've attached that for this reconciliation. So again, there is a bank statement that's attached to that bank reconciliation.